All right, moving on to class four. We're going to be starting at BMI 023. We'll be heading to Wellington Airport. Some of you might know it as Bodangara Airstrip. It's north northeast of the town of Wellington, about 10 kilometres. You have a 400 metre turn point radius. And then you'll be heading to Golgong Airstrip. Total optimised distance of 185.7 kilometres. So, day four, task three. We're flying 185 kilometers today, and we're going north. The same way we went for task one, day two. Uh, and today we're gonna to be flying uh, to an airport. I can't remember what the name of it was. Then, uh, over some, what was that, sorry? Gulagong? Yeah, we were going to an airport first, Manila maybe. Wellington. Wellington Airport, and then over some mountain range into Gulgong, which is where they had a competition about a month ago, they do that every year, so today should be good. We're uh, Team Tina's Twats are in top six, so we're uh, we're pretty much smashing the team rankings right now, and just going to get ourselves up into those top three spaces, I think. How are you feeling about today, Tyler? I'm super happy you asked, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy, you know? Things have gone all right. Made some bad decisions, but what else are you going to do? <laughs> no, it's all good. Looks like a good day out. Tomorrow's supposed to be a really good day out, so... Yeah. Yeah. Another five hours in the saddle. Just a nice breezy five hours and <laughs> maybe seven tomorrow, so won't exactly, that be Exactly, yeah. So yeah. now we're a bit uh, short of time today, so there wasn't much film or anything. And we are going to get our stuff put away in the cars and then go flying. Dale. Yeehaw! How are you feeling? Great. Good. Right on. Yeah, so... We're uh, almost half an hour earlier to take off today. There's a lot more early birds. The competition is getting a bit more competitive, so we are. All the cars have to be out half an hour before we fly, so I'm just going to take a bottle and this camera back into the car. Today's task, I don't think I mentioned it, is 185 kilometers, and that should be five or six hours in the air, I think. We have about 45, well, an hour from the first launch, so when I launch at 8th place, I'll be 45 minutes or so with a 10k radius. It's about perfect time to get up and in the start and ready to take that, so we will see how we go. I've been struggling with my GoPro for the past 5 or 6 flights. The new Hero 5 doesn't hold much battery at all, especially when we're getting down to 6 or 7 degrees Celsius at height, and it's struggling quite bad, so... I land and it's got full battery, but at height it's got nothing, so we'll see. I'll try my hardest to get as much video footage as possible, but can't guarantee it. I think maybe I'll try and get an external battery pack or something and plug that in so that I can get more in-flight footage. But for now, we'll go to GoPro. Here we are. Climbing up in the start cylinder. We've got Olaf below. Tony at Bugman Armstrong. Tyler's up here. And a good 31 minutes to go before the first start. We're currently 5,500 feet. Looks like Olaf's got it better. Let's go join him. And I'll see you at the start. Well, we're in there, out of the start cylinder. Had to push four canes with 25 canes now headwind. We've got the third start. The big gang away on the second. Now just climbing up with Mills left. Make good time. Been catching stragglers. Be a 
Unfortunately, during that screaming climb was when <coughs> Nikki uh, hit some really bad air and she ended up coming down under her parachute. Uh, there was a lot of radio calls going on at that time and I completely misheard a stop task call. Um, turns out it wasn't stop task, but I did end up landing uh, immediately pretty much next to Nikki. Uh, I didn't even realize where she was. I knew she was up course, but we'd already had one incident, this competition where we had to have a um, Ambulance called, uh, air ambulance, and they immediately asked people to be out of the air, so being that my radio PTT wasn't working, I was a bit worried of being a nuisance and being in the way of a helicopter if it was called, so end up landing, it was the wrong call, uh, and that put me down in 40 or 50th place for the day. So scores are out this morning, I'm now 10th from 2nd, so four days to go to make it back up, so we'll see how we go today. And I think today's meant to be a very good day. We just I'm editing the video now, and now we're about to head off to briefing, uh, and we'll see where we fly to today. Hopefully, it's over my personal best, which is 214, which I flew with Gordon in 2015. So nice to fly 250, 300 kilometers today. See you tomorrow.